so very good morning my dear students so today in this session let us uh, uh, start with the topic that is 8051 interfacing and its applications so how the microcontroller 8051 is is to be interfaced and what are the applications performed here and what are the parameters considered here for interfacing when you are selecting any of the device it may be lcd it may be led it may be seven segment it may be adc or temperature sensor any device when you are interfacing it with microcontroller 8051 what are the parameters you need to know before pre request and how you are going to actually implement the interfacing and what are the applications possible we are going to discuss in this session today so stay back with me so let us we have uh, first uh, before uh, going to discuss with the interfacing of 8051 with other interfaces as we know that uh, we need to learn uh, A to double five PPI pin diagrams first. So in A zero five one again we have a forty pin IC, and here in A two five five PPI one PPI is also having forty pin IC, and uh, you can see the ten, uh, the twenty pins here, twenty pins here. So you can see the address lines, data lines, and uh, VCC, VSS, ground, uh, read bar. So like that uh, ports and all we can have a look right. So So let us in the next slide we'll come to know what is actually this A two five five is. It's a general purpose programmable input output device. It's a general purpose programmable. That means it can able to program uh, input output device which is designed to interface the CPU with outside world. Outside world in the sense any of the devices. It may be a keyboard. It may be a DAC. It may be a ADC. Or it may be a temperature sensor, it may be LED, it may be LCD, like that. Okay, we can program it according to the given condition. So according to the uh, uh, provided condition, we can able to program it, and we can use it for our applications. Okay, for example, uh, let us say uh, I want to control uh, the temperature of my room by an AC. so i can use a temperature sensor and i can program myself such that to maintain the room temperature to 20 22 degree or 24 degree or 25 degree like that okay depending upon our requirement of our present condition we can able to use our uh, coding or program and we can use as an application and it can also be used with almost any of the microprocessor okay it's not only used in microcontrollers it can be used for many of the microprocessors it consisting of 3 8 bit bidirectional input output ports it consisting of 3 8 bit bidirectional input output ports that is port a port b and port c how we have four io ports in 8051 in 8255 it is having three io ports all are of 8 bits that is port a port b and port So this is a block diagram of eight two five five. As we have here uh, the data bus buffer, and these are bidirectional buses, and this is of eight bit. This is read, write, address, reset pin, control select, and this is group B control, and all these are buses. Uh, this is eight bit internal data bus to provide the data operations. So control group A control. block this is group a port a and it is of 8 bits io ports this is of 4 bit io ports this is of uh 4 bit io ports but this is upper this is lower because you can see from port 4 to port 7 this is port 0 to port 3 this is group a this is group b and this is group b and again this is io port this is of 8 bit it consists of 40 pins and it operates in 5 volt regulated power supply it is of 40 pin and it is going to operate in 5 volts power supply port c is further divided into two 4 bit ports and port c lower and port c upper and port c can work in either bit set reset mode or in mode 0 of input or put mode in a255 okay it consisting of 40 pins and operates in plus 5 volts regulated power supply and port c is further divided into four ports that is port c lower port c upper and port c can work either in bit reset mode or mode 0 for input output mode next 
port b can work in either mode and mode 1 of input output mode then mode a can work either in the mode 0 1 or 2 of input output mode it can it has a two control groups control group a control group b control group a consisting of port a and port c upper the control b consisting of control c lower and control b depending upon the values if the cs a1 and a0 we can select the different ports in different modes as input output functions of bit select reset okay that means these three pins will play a major role depending upon that we can select the different modes this is done by writing a suitable word in the control register that is control word of 8 bit next 8051 interfacing lcd that is liquid crystal display so we have uh, it is of uh, 16 cross 2 so whenever you interface an lcd with a microcontroller it will be obviously of uh, 16 cross 2 majorly we will use okay that is commonly we are going to use and that is of uh, 8051 based on embedded projects what we are doing dealing with it consisting of 16 rows what this 16 cross 2 says is it is 16 rows 2 columns and uh, r 5 of 5 cross 7 r 5 cross 8 lcd dot matrix the modules were of talking about there here is type the number this is a version which is a very popular one it is available in 16 pin package with a black light contrast adjustment function and each dot matrix has 5 cross 8 dot resolutions that means we are talking about the lcd display the pin, uh, pin numbers, their names, the corresponding functions and which we are going to discuss in the next diagrams. So here in 8051 interfacing, so we have the pin descriptions here. So total 14 pins and each pin is having uh, specific functions like let us say pin number 1, it is uh, taken as VSS that is uh, it is not an IO port but the thing is it is used for ground. And second pin number is VCC that is plus 5 power supply. So that means uh, here we are using the operating voltage for LCD is 5 volts. Our microcontroller is also 5 volts. Next pin number 3 is VE the power supply to contra control the contrast. Then pin number 4 that is RS. This is input port. If it is 0 to select the command register. If it is 1 it selects the data register depending upon the status of rs if it is zero it will select the command register if it is one it selects the data register then fifth port if it is a read or write if it is zero it will write if it is one it will read then sixth one e means input output it is used for enable used for by an lcd to latch the information presented to its data bus okay and other 8 pins each it will send a displayed information or the instruction command code to the LCD and read the contents of LCD internal register that is DB0, DB1, DB2 till DB7 and each one is of IO ports and each one is a 8 bit data bus ok and it will send the display the information or the instruction command code to the LCD and it will read the content of LCD and internal register. Next, 16 cross 2 LCD module commands. It has a set of preset command instructions. Each command will make the module to do particular task. Commonly used commands and their functions are given below in the next table. So that means here the LCD module having a preset command instruction command instruction that means each will be having certain codes okay uh, depending on that command it is going to operate each command will make a module to do a particular task that means if you want to use lcd effectively you need to remember these commands then you can use while using programming while coding which i am showing in the next slides then you have to uh, do the coding next lcd command codes so this is code 1, 2, 4, 6 like that. So all in exa. These are the LCD command codes. 
and these are what the command they are given for example the code one it will clear the display screen if you give one in a program it will clear the display screen if you give two it will return to home if you give four it will decrement the cursor that is shift cursor to left if you give six increment the cursor that is shift cursor to right if you give a command like five shift the display right if you give seven command it will shift shift the display left if you give the command 8 it will display off and cursor is off if you give a command like a display off cursor on again if you give the command c display on cursor off if you give a command like e display on cursor blink if you give command like f display on cursor blinking if you give a command like 10 shift cursor position to left if you give a command like 14 shift the cursor position to right if you give a command 18 shift the entire display to the left 1c shift the entire display to the right 80 force cursor to beginning to first line c0 force the cursor to beginning to the second line 38 two lines and 5 cross 7 matrix so in this slide we are uh, getting to know how or which ports of 8051 are connected to LCD. You can see, you can make out that is port 0, port 7 which are connected to D0 to D7 of port 0 and uh, port 3 of 2 and 3 are connected to RS and enable and read slash write bar is uh, grounded and VSS, VCC and through VE we are given a uh, 30 kilo of pot and we are interfaced the 8051 with LCD. So this is a program of 8051 and uh, this is assembly language program. So here uh, we are given ORG 0000H that means we are telling the microcontroller to start from the address and uh, move A comma 30H. So we are telling to initialize the two lines of 5 cross 7 and we are calling the subroutine and uh, we are uh, giving some delay for LCD. Again, we are giving uh, a command for LCD saying that 0EH which to display on cursor. Again, we are calling a command subroutine, then delay. Again, 01 to clear the LCD if any junk values or previous data is there. Again, in this line, we are giving a 06 which is shift the cursor right. So, this is a command. Again, subroutine command delay. Again, 80H force the cursor to begin of first line again subroutine command delay so here we are giving a letter s so again we are calling the subroutine then delay letter r so e character s so send the commands to lcd so this is a loop so to it will copy the register to port 0 and rs is 0 for the command and here read write will be 0 for write okay for read it will be 1 set the bit to port port 2.0 which will be enabled we will clear it later then return then data 1 this is for writing the data to lcd this is to send the data after sending we are going to write the data to lcd that means it has to be displayed now for that so this is a delay program okay So I hope understood. you have understood with 8051 interfacing with LCD. Now next let us discuss about 8051 interfacing with LEDs. So what is an LED? LED is nothing but light emitting diode. So it is a kind of diode. Okay. So you know that. So before the invention of LEDs. So, so you can see in nowadays a major uh, applications of LEDs because we are using uh, LED screen mobile phones, we are using LED TVs, LED screen laptops, right, LED lights, right, so lots of advantages. What is the significance of using LED than older other uh, bulbs like that, nominal things? It's simple, it's like power. So power consumption is a major concern, right, and here the technology behind is also very easy. So. LED that is light emitting diode is a PN junction diode 
which emits the light when it is activated. So it is a p-n junction diode when it emits, which emits the light when it is getting activated. Activated in the sense that means if the diode conducts, the light is going to get emitted. It is activated when the p-n junction sustains a forward voltage that is forward bias a current from p to n called forward current. Okay. How you say in uh, diode, normal diode, the diode is forward by off, diode is on, diode is reverse by off, diode is off like that. That means here when LED is forward by off, when the current is flows from P to N, that is called forward current, then the it is activated. Once it is activated, light is get emitted. When this current is applied, the electrons recombines with electron holes within the device thereby releasing the energy in the form of light. So how we are going to get the light, how it is going to get uh, eliminated means when the current is applied the electron is recombined with the electron holes within the device hereby it will release the energy in the form of light. The LED finds the application in traffic signals, lighting, camera flashes, mobile screens, LCD screens sorry laptop screen like okay the way to distinguish between the positive and negative terminal is the positive is longer than the negative in light this is a diagram where you can see this is light emitting diode the voltage we are given as plus 5 volt this is a resistor and this is ground. okay so how to control this led okay so these are light emitting diodes or semiconductor light source. These are semiconductor light source. Commonly used LEDs will have cutoff voltage of 1.7 volts and current of 10 milliamps. It is a semiconductor light and commonly used is LEDs which have a cutoff voltage of 1.7 volts and current of 10 milliamps. When LED is applied with its required voltage and current, it glows with full intensity. When LED is applied with a required voltage and current, it will flow with full intensity. Intensity means the brightness of the light. The light emitting diode is similar to the normal PN junction diode, but it emits energy in the form of light. So what is the difference between the normal diodes and light emitting diode? Is It is similar. The operation is also similar. Only thing is, uh, the emission of the energy is in the form of light. The color of the light depends on the band gap of the semiconductor. That means the LEDs you will get in many colors. It may be white, it may be red, it may be yellow, it may be green like that. So that light it depends again on the gap. That is band gap in the semiconductor. Okay. Next. Continued with the interfacing. While LEDs are interfaced with 8051, the quartz crystals of semi resonators that determines the operating frequency of 8051. You know the operating frequency of 8051 that is 11.0592 megahertz. Here, the oscillating frequency will be used by crystal oscillator. That is, we know that when we are discussing the architecture of 8051, we are discussing regarding this. That is, XTAL1 and XTAL2 can be configured in a two ways the external clock drive configuration, internal clock drive configuration. Here we have two capacitors that is capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 each will be of 33 picofarad and it will be quartz crystals or ceramic resonators. The crystal oscillator frequency from 1.2 megahertz to 12 megahertz because we have the actual actual oscillating frequency of uh, crystal oscillating frequency of uh, 805 is 11.059 megahertz. The crystal oscillator is used to generate the clock pulse that provide a mean for timing calculation. The crystal pins are connected to the ground through capacitor that is 33 picofarad. This is the microcontroller. So this is a pictorial representation of interfacing of LED with the microcontroller. Here they are used ATC51, the microcontroller, C, the version, so the family. And this is the LED. This is a register of 330. They are using this for simulating purpose of uh, 8051 interfacing with LED. They are using this as a protest design to LEDs, a software which is available. 
and this is Krishna uh, Asya frequency which is connected to pin number 18 and pin number 19 x tile 1 x tile 2 and here port p1.0 is connected to LED going on through a register okay so next topic is uh, 8051 interfacing with seven segment display okay so let me stop at this point so in the next session i will uh, continue with the interfacing of seven segment display it is uh, quite a bit uh, vast topic so you need to understand uh, the you have to remember the table so it is very easy but only thing is you need to understand that then only you have to program the code okay fine thank you